Hi, I'm Scott Leslie, and today I'm going to take a look at how to downsize and lighten up your camera rig with the Hawkwoods Mini V Lock batteries and accessories. As a DP, I use several different kinds of cameras depending on the job and the budget. But the camera that I own and the camera that I shoot most of my commercials, independent films, and industrials on is the Sony A7S II. Now this uh, small camera it weighs only a pound, but if you want to properly outfit it like, like a proper cinema camera, then it turns into this beast, which, is, which is, weighs just about exactly 20 pounds. Let me just show you real quick what I've got going on here. So in the front, you, you can see I have the, the Shogun Flame, which I can record directly to, and I use as a monitor. But that is fed by my Zacuto Gradical HD. So basically the camera comes into here through HDMI. The Gradical HD converts it to SDI, or you can come out the HDMI too if, if you'd like to just loop through. And then the SDI goes into the Shogun. One thing that I've always thought is super crucial is to power everything just with one V-Lock battery. I don't like having a ton of different little batteries that are powering my gear. It makes for more things that are gonna run out that you gotta manage and more possibilities for messing up a shot uh, because of battery failure. So I've always had one V-Lock battery that powers everything. And here there's a, there's a converter that changes the battery to uh, 7.2 volts that powers the camera. There's also a 12 volt one and also a five volt adapter and a DTAP. I've been using this for years and it's been working pretty good, but it's always been clunky. I mean, look at how huge this battery is. It makes it really hard for me to get to my monitor back here. And so I've always been looking for a, a more compact solution but that without compromising any of the features. So that's why I was really excited when I heard about the Hawkwoods Mini V-Lock batteries. So um, I contacted them and they were kind enough to send me a couple of their M100 HP batteries along with the, the V-Lock uh, Mini adapter. So what's great about this, uh, the V-Lock batteries, but also on the back, there is uh, four D-tap outs, and it comes with uh, rail attachments here. And they also just sent me the proper cabling I need for my gear. So basically, this goes from D-tap to, uh, to a Sony dummy battery, um, which converts the power down to 8.4 volts right here. Um, this one is kind of the same thing, but with a Canon battery, because that's what the uh, Zacuto HD Radical uses. And here is just a, a, a D-tap to 2.1 millimeter plug um, for the Shogun. Okay, so let's get down to it and see how the Hawkwood Mini V-Lock batteries and accessories can make my rig lighter and more compact. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take apart my rig and add the Hawkwood Mini V-Lock batteries and see what the weight comes down to and see how I can better position things to get to my screen and just kind of shrink my rig down some. So uh, let's check it out. Okay, so I just finished rigging up the camera and I'm really happy the way it turned out. As you see, the V-Lock mini adapter plate is right here. You got your D-taps on the back and this teeny battery, which is really nice. Here, I'll throw it on my shoulder so you can kind of take a look. Um, the good news is I lost three and a half pounds. So that's definitely substantial and I'm really excited about that. And I've made the camera more compact and one of my favorite features is that now I can view my camera monitor without having this big battery in the way. So it's going to be much better for checking settings and stuff like that. You might have noticed that when I was first rigging up the camera, I was toying around with actually flopping the uh, mini adapter plate upside down. 
And uh, what's interesting about this is that I would never have been able to do that before with the with the full size battery. When you have a full size battery, what happens is when you put it in the v, in the V mount plate, it always sticks up. So it sticks up, you know, and this one it would stick up about two inches. Um, but with this one, it's flush on the top, so I actually can flip it over if I feel like it, and that way I can set the camera down without jostling the battery every time. In the end, I decided I want to make my rig more compact, so I put it in the upright position. For those of us who travel, the Hawkwood Mini V-Lock batteries are perfect. I mean, they're so lightweight, you can put a bunch in your bag and not uh, be totally weighed down. Uh, the, reg the regulations are that uh, batteries that are 100 watt hours or less, you're able to carry as many as you'd like, but you have to carry them on. Uh, if you're above that, you, you can carry the 150 watt hours, but you only can carry two. I'm just really impressed by the Hawkwood Mini V-Lock batteries. I mean, when you compare this to the standard V-Lock battery, I mean, the benefits are obvious. And the fact that they can put as much punch into this, in this little battery as a standard battery is just really amazing. From now on, the, the Hawkwood Mini V-Lock batteries with the V-Lock Mini adapter plate is gonna be a part of my kit.